Alright guys, so uh, a lot of you have been getting into welding. A uh, question comes up uh, about welding helmets and what kind you should get. And uh, it's a short video, it's a little bit about personal preference and what type of welding you're going to be doing. And um, now I got three welding helmets here. And uh, the most common ones that I use depends on what project I'm doing or what type of welding I'm doing. Uh, for MIG, I like to use the Harbor Freight Auto Darkening one on the far right. And uh, for TIG, I really like using the one in the middle because of the really wide viewing area. And uh, the one on the left, uh, I like using for stick welding because uh, when I'm chipping slag, I can uh, just lift up this thing right here and use the angle grinder with the uh, wire wheel on it. And don't have to worry about getting slag in my eyes because I've done that before and uh, trust me, you don't want it to happen to you. So, uh, these are basically, these are just two passive lenses and obviously that one's the auto darkening one. Now, uh, Harbor Freight just came out with a uh, newer version of this helmet. It's the exact same thing except it's a high gloss finish like on the whole, uh, the whole helmet. It's got a nice color and it actually has a grind function. So, uh, you, this is pretty much eliminated right here how you would just use that for grinding as a grind function and it takes no batteries or whatever it's a good helmet a lot of people don't like them because they're harbor freight helmets but I've never had any problems with it never been flashed by it I hear uh, countless stories of people of that happening to them but I've never had that happen to me and um, but so really it just depends on what you want and how much you're willing to spend you could buy a uh, Longevity makes good uh, auto darkening helmets. I'll be getting one of those soon. And uh, Miller uh, in Lincoln, of course, they make great ones. And But those are really expensive, and it's kind of... It, it really depends, especially for do-it-yourselfers and pe people like us at home who just pretty much weld for fun. And I mean, you don't need a, a big old welding helmet. I mean, this, these things... This cost me 17 bucks at Northern Tool. And this cost, I want to say, 20 bucks. And then this one's 50 at Harbor Freight, but you get 20% off coupon and that and stuff. So, but so these are pretty much some of the cheaper helmets. But uh, in pipeline welding, you see this helmet used a lot. It's actually called the Pipeliner. And uh, then these ones, like I said, the wide viewing area it makes it really good to to see TIG welding, uh, to see when to stop and everything. On you can see the edge of parts a lot better. And uh, with auto darkening, it's great for MIG especially and uh, for uh, stick also because of your arc starts and stuff and uh, really auto darkening is just really great to use and really easy to use but some of them take batteries and some of them are just way too expensive and they're just not worth it so uh, that's my quick video about welding helmets and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, please uh, rate and subscribe